I think autoclave is like you know zipline drones experience some pretty nasty environments, yeah. but I and you know you you would think that the surgical room is not right like everything is well controlled it's twenty five C, but then you throw autoclave in there and it's the nastiest stuff you can do period to anything like it's extremely it's extremely corrosive alkaline solvents and soaps that you use to clean. This. Oh, you're talking about like your your instrumentation having to be able to survive an autoclave. <laughs> yeah, and then you know you put this thing in like 180 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 180 C steam for 10 minutes. Most yeah. materials don't survive, but you. And so you know it's really, and you know they make autoclavable motors, but they are super expensive. And best of luck getting any smart electronics in there, right? Like you just don't get the power density you need. So yeah, yeah that makes sense. Um, so from from instruments, I spent some time doing the sterile interface module. So it almost uh, sounds I, like you've got to have like some kind of linkage mechanically to motors that are in a place exactly where, yeah. It, it, yeah you need you need to, you need to find a way to decouple it but it's also tricky because you have to deal with failovers right so that was kind of my introduction of like well what happens if the robot stops working for whatever reason you make it as reliable as you can but you know it's kind of analogous to like how we have parachute like for a surgical yeah. robot if anything goes wrong the saving grace is that the surgeon got a is surgeon in the room. there <laughs> yeah and and, you know, it's funny because, like, you know, there have been so many conversations where, like, I've had, like, with surgeon friends and they're like, so, you know, uh, can I use this for telepresence? Or can I use, you know, is this going to replace me? And I'm like, I don't know, right? Because, like, if something goes wrong, you you know, you need humans. You need a human surgeon close enough that they can take the robot, they can move it away and, you know, complete the surgery. 